Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to solve a simple numerical example on Bayesian belief network. This is the solved example number 6. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a Bayesian belief network with uh, 6 uh, attributes. The first one is exercise, diet, heart disease, heartburn, blood pressure and chest pain. Also, the conditional probability table for each of these particular nodes is given to us. Given this particular thing, if you know that a particular person is having high blood pressure, we want to know whether that particular person is having heart disease or not. Now, if you want to know whether a particular person is having heart disease or not, we need to solve two things. That is probability of heart disease given blood pressure. Another one is probability of not having heart disease given blood pressure. Once you solve these particular two equations, so we need to compare the probabilities based on that particular probability we can decide whether the particular person is having heart disease given uh, blood pressure or not here now the question comes in front of us is how to calculate this particular uh, two probabilities now we will discuss this particular first one that is uh, how to calculate the probability of heart disease given blood pressure that is equivalent to alpha multiplied by summation of e summation of d summation of h summation of cp the reason behind writing this particular summation is if you look at this particular uh, the Bayesian belief network we have six features out of that we know the value of this particular uh, blood pressure remaining exercise diet heart disease heartburn and chest pain we don't know so that's the reason I have taken this particular summation we will consider the per particular person is doing exercise and he is not doing exercise he is doing diet he is not doing diet both conditions we will check but we don't consider this particular blood pressure because we know the particular person is having blood pressure. That's the reason we have not taken summation in this case. And the probability of all those particular attributes in this particular case. Now the question is how to calculate this particular joint probability. And again, one more thing is uh, alpha. Uh, in this particular case, uh, I will discuss this particular alpha at the later stage. Uh, we will first try to solve this particular part. Once you get this particular value, we will try to get the value of this particular alpha at the later stage. Now, in this case, uh, first we need to understand how to calculate the joint probability over here. If you look at this particular joint probability, this particular thing that is probability of HD that is heart disease depends on, you can see here, the heart disease depends on these two particular uh, the features or the attributes that is exercise and diet because these two are the parents of this particular heart disease here. So, that's the reason we can write it something like this, probability of heart disease given exercise and diet here. And coming back to this one, probability of E, the probability of E is nothing but probability of exercise. It does not have any parent here. The meaning is it is a, uh, it doesn't depend on any other attribute here. That's the reason we have written it as it is here. Similarly, probability of D, that is also does not have any parent. So, it is uh, independently we have written here. The probability of a heartburn, if you look at this particular heartburn, heartburn depends on this particular diet. So, that's the reason we have written probability of heartburn given diet in this case. Now coming back to this particular CP that is chest pain, probability of chest pain given heart disease as well as the heartburn over here that is what I have written in this particular case and finally this one probability of uh, uh, the person is having blood pressure, the probability of having blood pressure depends on this particular parent that is a heart disease that's the reason probability of blood pressure given heart disease we have written here. Now what we need try to do is we will try to simplify this equation by putting this particular summation at an appropriate place. Now, if you look at this particular first summation term, that is a probab uh, summation of uh, CP, that is a chest pain. Now, if you look at this particular equation, wherever there is CP, we will try to put this particular CP. And if you look at here, this is the only place where this particular CP is present. So, that is the reason I have written something like this one. This particular CP has been pushed over here. The summation of CP, probability of CP given HD, comma H over here. Now, the second the summation is H. Wherever there is H, we will try to put it here. Probability of H given D, this is the only term we have remaining everywhere. We don't have anything. So, that's the reason we have pushed it to this particular level. The next one is summation of D. Summation of D is, uh, I think if you look at here, uh, this is the one place where we have D. This is already considered. So, there is no need to consider this particular thing. Uh, this is the one place and this is the another place. So, that's the reason we will consider these two things, this one and this one and I have written it over here. And the next one is uh, there is something called as uh, E here. Uh, if you look at this particular E, this is the place where E is remaining. So, that is what I have written here. And finally, this is the only term remaining that is probability of blood pressure given heart disease. That is what I have written it over here. 
and it does not have any summation term because uh, this is blood pressure is known to us and heart disease is also known to us because in the initial case we consider that the person is having heart disease over here now what is that we need to do is uh, we need to look at this particular equation carefully because if you we'll see here we want to calculate whether the particular person is having heart disease given blood pressure so this particular heart disease depends on exercise diet and we know that the person is having blood pressure it does not depends on this particular chest pain as well as this particular heart burn so that's the reason we will remove these two particular thing and the remaining ex ex uh, equation looks something like this now once you get this particular equation we need to simplify it again that is uh, this particular term we don't have any problem but when it comes to this particular summation this particular e can be uh, the person is doing exercise a person is not doing exercise that is a negation here similarly this particular thing that is a person is having doing diet and the person is not doing diet over here now how can you write this part of thing the first term remains as it is this one first time i will consider probability of e in the second time i will be consider probability of negation of e and if you start this particular uh, this is the bracket here this particular summation i have expanded here so one time i will consider uh, this uh, person is doing diet that is what i have written here probability of uh, hd given e uh, comma d probability of d and then in this case uh, wherever there is d i have written negation of d over here similarly whenever this particular uh, outer summation term that is the probability of a negation of e is there the same equation will come and sit over here now uh, we will try to put the values for this uh, each of these particular uh, probabilities from the a given uh, bayesian belief network the first one that is the probability of uh, blood pressure given heart disease that is the probability of blood pressure given heart disease which is equal to 0.85 here that is what i have written in this particular case probability of uh, you can see here this one is uh, doing exercise this is not doing exercise probability of doing exercise is 0.7 here probability of not doing exercise here it will become 0.3 similarly we need to put all this particular values i will get the value of this particular that is equation probability of heart disease given blood pressure is uh, alpha multiplied by 0.4165 here now once you get this particular value we need to solve one more equation that is probability of not having heart disease given blood pressure that's the one more thing we need to solve here now how to solve this particular thing is wherever there is hd we need to replace this hd by negation of hd everywhere and if you replace it the entire equation will look something like this the previous equation wherever there is hd that is a heart disease i have replaced it with not having heart disease here and the equation looks something like this now if you look at this particular term that is probability of blood pressure given no heart disease that is probability of uh, uh, blood pressure given no heart disease is 0.2 here that is what we have written here similarly we need to write all those particular values i will show one more that's a probability of not having heart disease given ed probability of not having this this particular thing is having heart disease we need to write one more column here not having heart disease that is one minus all these particular probabilities so what is required for us probability of not having heart disease given e and d that is exercise and diet so exercise and diet is given here this is for probability of having heart disease probability of having uh, not having heart disease is 1 minus 0.25 that is equivalent to 0.75 in this case so that is what we have written here similarly we have to write the remaining values once you write and solve this particular equation you will get 0.102 that is alpha multiplied by 0.102 here now once you calculate both these particular probabilities that is having heart disease given blood pressure having uh, does not having heart disease given blood pressure uh, these two things we need to calculate the value of alpha here that is alpha is equal to 1 divided by this particular term plus this particular term over here so that is what i have written which is equal to 1 divided by 0.5185 here now once you get the value of alpha put it back into this particular equation that is probability of having heart disease given blood pressure is equal to no you need to put this particular value at this particular alpha please you will get 0.8083 similarly probability of not having heart disease given blood pressure is equal to 0.1967 over here now based on these two probabilities that is uh, 0.80 and 0.19 we need to decide whether the particular person is having heart disease given blood pressure if you compare these probabilities 0.80 is more than 0.19 it shows that given blood pressure the person is having okay, what you can say that the uh, heart disease so uh, in this video i have discussed uh, how can we solve uh, the simple uh, numerical example on bayesian belief network for heart disease problem i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends 
प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन फॉर मोर वीडियोज प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन फॉर रेगुलर अपडेट्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग